Happy New Year to everybody. It's the 2nd of January as I'm filming this. It's going to go live uh, Wednesday, which I believe is the 3rd of January. So, Happy New Year. I hope you've had a great Christmas. I hope 2023 brings all of you everything that you want. Although don't wish too much because a bit like setting goals, it won't happen, will it? Well, who knows? Um, goal setting, I've not been great at that, but a little bit about that in a moment. Those, that have, those of you that have seen a bit of uh, this vlog part of the channel before will perhaps recognize that I'm in the extension we've been having built. And yeah, the dog's pretty comfy. Picture's not on the wall yet. There's quite a lot to be finished off still. And you say no pictures on the wall. There is one drawing of the dog is up. Uh, dog made sure of that. Uh, you'll probably see bits of finishing needing. Yeah, painting up there. However, I'm going to show you two parts of um, this new house, or, or say new house, the house we've moved sort of into. Um, my partner owned, has owned this house for a while. I'm going to show you a little workshop shed, and we're going to head over to see the closed door ahead into that room, which is the current fitness room. So apologies for the bright shirt. I'm going for a run in about two minutes time, but let's head off into that room. I say that room, I'm pointing at it here, but obviously it's kind of behind you as you look at the camera. Oh, well, you'll work it out. Okay, we're at the door. It's gonna be quite bright. The sun is shining. So I open the door, oh, and the camera adjusts. So as we come into the room on the left, don't know how well you can see in this sunshine. I've got my Argon um, tri-bike. I've got my Carnago road bike and a few shirts on the wall. I'm particularly chuffed with those two up there. That's my Everesting shirt. Um, if you want a big challenge, yeah, Everesting is definitely one. A few little mementos are starting to go up. The turbo, yeah. I've got a, that's a 36, I think, inch, or might be 32 inch. I'm used to having a 42 inch, so might want to change things around a little bit there. Um, there's lots of bits and pieces. It's quite tight in here and I've got quite a lot of stuff. So a few mementos, a few medals and things up there and some towels. I've got my big treadmill falling over the turbo there. Um, it's a Bowflex uh, running on Zwift. Uh, it doesn't link to my laptop. It doesn't like it. It will link to my iPad. I've reached out to Zwift um, and the forums. Apparently there's a thing with the Bowflex and they can do a, a sort of back end adjustment um, at Zwift. But when I get hold of Zwift support, they say, no, it's got nothing to do with that. Um, they suggest shutting everything else down that might have Bluetooth, etc. Tried that. I've been using this for years, oh, I, I, I've just lost patience and I've given up with the laptop um, and I'm just using the iPad on that machine. But you get the idea, um, it's my room, it's my pain cave. Um, and we're sort of, it's growing, it's growing or what's in it is growing. Okay, let's head back out that way towards the extension into the garden and head to the shed. And I'll show you my little shed, my little workshop. Here we are outside the shed, uh, underneath the, the big gazebo. There's still a lot of rubbish around. Builders still need to pick up some of their stuff. Um, I'm going to go into the shed. It's probably going to flicker around a bit at the moment because uh, I've got LED baton lights. I'll just undo that hatch. Um, so actually, let's go in without the lights on and see how the camera adjusts. Okay, and lights. Okay, if I don't shine up at the lights themselves, it probably won't flicker. So at the moment, not everything's got its place, but I have lined and insulated. I've got power in. So there's my, uh, my little consumer unit, my fuse box. Loads of sockets, double sockets with USBs. They're uh, all over the place. Tools and bits and pieces. Um, some numbers, race numbers. Um, still, we're getting there. Tool cabinet, that's um, it's getting old and tired now. Uh, I'm planning in this space here where the board is, I quite like a bigger tool cabinet system and get more tools away, things off the shelves. Um, 
there's my TV unit, old TV unit, but I'm keeping that uh, hopefully for future use. Um, but back to the tool cabinet. If anyone out there decides they want to sponsor me for a nice new tool cabinet, we'll definitely accept and take you up on that and do a review on it. Um, so there you are. You've seen, um, you've seen the front room, my little new pain cave, and my workshop at the moment. So let's head back indoors. Well, there we are, I'm back. Um, three and a half mile threshold run. It's kind of glorious out there. It's a bit heavy underfoot. I think when I download, upload uh, that run, uh, it won't, the numbers won't be awesome in terms of uh, pace. But the effort, yeah, it was quite sticky out there. It's muddy, we've had a lot of rain recently, but it's a glorious day today. So, yep, threshold run done. So, you've seen the fitness room, the pain cave. It's getting there with a few mementos up now. There's normally a couple of mountain bikes in there as well. My posh, my smart cross country and my enduro. But in about an hour, I'm heading off uh, to do a bit of mountain biking. Uh, so I've just put those in the van. So they're all ready to go. Um, and you've seen the shed, a bit of a workshop, and that really is a, a work in progress. Um, so what does 2023 hold? We've had a brilliant 2022, haven't we? Um, I don't want to dwell too much on it, but two Ironman World Championships, uh, numerous PTO events from Super League uh, all the way through to the Collins Cup. And the, for me, the Sub 7, Sub 8 project, which had some initial uh, Brit interest to start with. And then obviously Ali Brownlee and uh, Lucy Charles Barkley had to drop out. But then we had Cat Matthews and Joe Skipper. Um, and what performance they both did with Cat, obviously, um, it's history now, but Kat smashed it. Um, and I genuinely think if she gets back to full fitness after a horrific injury, uh, her bike crash just before Kona, uh, I think she can break eight on her own in competition. But there we go. That's, uh, that's something for the future and best of luck to Kat. And a bit more about Kat in a minute. Uh, goals for 2023? Well, I've been pretty remiss and not really set them. I should have set them towards the end of December and just got myself a really nice plan sorted out and got into things, whereas I haven't. And the only thing I've signed up for and I've got in my calendar is I'm doing the Weekend Warrior at Blenheim Palace. Again, done that quite a few times. Um, wonderful event, great setting, tough, lots of people doing their first Ironman. Um, it's a hilly course uh, with big uphill, 400 plus meters steep hill from the swim to transition. Uh, hilly bike course, hilly run, but it's great. And the weekend warriors, there's usually about a hundred places, usually about 60 people end up doing it, something in that region. Um, and you spend the two days of the weekend just going and doing as many as you can. Uh, you just keep going, you finish, you jog the kilometer or so back to the swim start and off you go again. Um, it's fantastic, it's a great atmosphere. And usually, touch wood, at my table, uh, the weather is perfect. What I have said is I'm not doing an Ironman this year. I've promised my partner that we'll have a, a good break in the summer. Um, not to say I won't do any other competitions, but I need to have a, a good think because we need to break that summer up. I also might have to go to America for work for a few weeks in the summer. So uh, yeah, my summer's no Ironman this year. That's, my, that's what I've said, we'll wait and see. Um, so I need to really set my goals out and get my planning going. What have I been doing recently? Uh, I've been quite chilled. November, December has just been a, been a bit of a tick over. Uh, a couple of days ago, 31st, that last day of the year, uh, at the, the swim squads, we did a, a big uh, 100, 100 meters um, morning. Uh, some people did it as individuals, pairs, and other teams of three and four. Uh, I wasn't going to do it. Um, However, uh, one, of, uh, one of the guys who I swim with, uh, well, actually two of them, but one of them contacted me and said, look, will you do it as a team with me and John? And I said, yes. And then he found someone else. So actually we ended up being a team of four. So yes, 100, 100 meters, uh, nothing uh, massive though. I did two seven, another guy did two seven, another did two six, and one chap had to leave early, um, urgent appointment. So he did two, but um, yeah, it was a great, great atmosphere and really, really good fun. Uh, what am I looking forward to in 2023 in the, the triathlon sort of world, the, the wider world, not just me, myself? 
Um, I'm looking forward to watching Ali Brownlee. I want him to have a year injury free and really show what he can do in the long course world. There's loads of younger, fresh faces coming up. And I just get the feeling that if he can't do it this year, he's, he's going to have missed the boat. He's a phenomenal athlete and I have enormous respect for him. Um, but I do think his time might be running out. So I'm really hoping that he will have an injury free season and, uh, and show what he can do. Um, Brit men, Joe Skipper, gosh, can he up his swim game and go from being a consistent top 10, even top five, think of Kona this year, can he go from being a, a consistent top 10, top five long course performer to a full on genuine world championship contender? I would love it. He's such a good guy. Um, will the Norwegians maintain their dominance? Do they really have the dominance that was said? There's uh, look at the French athletes, the Spanish athletes. Uh, yes, long course, um, the Norwegians perhaps got it, but shorter course, um, there's other blocks of, of athletes. Uh, perhaps the thing that I really want to see most is Kat Matthews getting back to full fitness. She's gone from being, um, she was obviously always very fit uh, and a good triathlete. And then she burst onto the world stage. We just she got the opportunity to to train really well, really seriously. And boy, I just think she she's a world champion in the making. And I really want to watch her get back to full fitness. She's been running and biking for a, a short while now after her terrible accident uh, in America. Uh, but she's only just hit back into the pool. She's, uh, I think it's the 27th, 28th, 20, uh, not 29th, 30th of December. She's done three decent sessions. Um, just to put into perspective the sorts of things she's doing, she, uh, the, her last swim on December the 30th, and I, I'm going to, mm, she, she did something like, and, and my Strava set in, in, in um, Imperial, because I like miles for the bike and for running, but she did something close to 5,000 yards. Um, it's a pretty decent swim. And she sit, I, it was a 124 minute per 100 yard pace. So pretty decent pace. And in doing that, she did 78.5% of the time in zone two, 8.2% in zone one. So 86.7% in zones one and two, and all the rest was in zone three. So, <sighs> That's quite phenomenal. So good luck, Kat. Techwise 2023. Well, I'm really keeping an eye on Ku. That's a K and a U. Ku cycles. Ku uh, Almer is their base in the Netherlands, um, and I came across them when I was in the Netherlands in August. And I came across. I bumped into uh, Richard McCainsh, who's the key designer of this bike, uh, and the Ku cycle. They, it's called the TF1. It's, it's the only bike they do, as far as I'm aware, and it's purely triathlon based. And Richard McCainsh is the key designer. He's a guy with auto racing background. Um, he, gosh, he worked in Formula One. He, he worked with, um, gosh, uh, Stuart Racing, uh, Grand Prix. He's been with uh, Benetton, Formula Limited, uh, Jaguar in, in the race series, but uh, latterly with Ferrari. Uh, for eight years um, before moving into top end cycling and the three T bars on my Colnago, uh, the aero um, top bars that I've got on my Colnago were actually his design. Uh, and he's come up with this design and there's some pictures coming up at the moment. And the big thing is that having got rid of the need for um, rim brakes, for having a crown on the forks close to the wheel, where you need to mount your rim brakes, the, the advent of disc brakes has meant that those forks, that you can have that big gap above the, the wheel, above the tire, um, and have unrestricted airflow that uh, by all counts is the big thing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how the Ku cycle comes on uh, and some of their athletes. I raced, uh, actually not quite true, Marlene de Boer won the 70.3 in Maastricht, but I watched her uh, on the bike and I watched her running and she won that event. Um, so uh, yeah, and then I obviously did Sunday, I did the, the full distance um, and I'd really like to have a go on one of those bikes and just have a little, 
Yeah, I, I, it's really, really interesting. Um, what's coming up on the channel? Well, uh, hopefully this weekend we'll be publishing the review of the, one of the more recent Alien um, multi-tools. I've got the Alien, I've got it here at the moment. I've got the Alien either 11 or 2, it's the Roman numeral uh, 1 1. So that's what we've got coming up uh, hopefully this weekend, released on Saturday, all being well. Um, and then numerous other things coming around. We've got lots of kit um, and lots of challenges, but I've got to, as I said before, I've got to get my, my plan sorted for the year. So, quick change. I'm starting to get a bit cold there uh, after that run. So as I was saying, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Back, back to the vlog. Um, if you have enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up, uh, like, share with your friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then please do so and click on the little picture down there uh, to do that. If you want to watch some of our other videos, well, we've got the Ogeo M9 sports bag up there, the Hoka Aura Recovery Shoe 2 up there, and we've got the Glorify Unbreakable sunglasses down there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.